Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. HVK all day. Let's get it, man. All right, let me take off these glasses so I feel more authentic talking to you guys. Um, in today's video, I want to talk about how people will be offended slash not understand you when you are on your self-development slash SR journey, okay? People will be offended. People won't understand you. And what I mean by this is is that they just won't get it you know they're not on your level of understanding you know they don't have the same type of understanding and knowledge and wisdom that you have obtained for yourself you know you have to keep something in mind guys the majority of people in society they are operate operating at a very low vibration right they're always distracted whether that's you know their attention is always going towards sports celebrity gossip you know trash demonic puppet music you know all this worldly music that they play on the radio um social media dating apps the hub drinking alcohol partying smoking weed all these distractions bro okay that's how a lot of people operate out here in society all right that's what it all revolves around them all this uh all these distractions bro and all these things that are just holding them back in life so what i mean by people be offended and not understand you is because uh this is something that i noticed right you know so from time to time there's people either in the comments or uh this could you could experience this both online and, and offline but there will be people that will either be offended or they won't understand you and what it comes down to is just a lack of understanding where you're coming from, you know? Like when somebody sees a video on, you know, SR retention, talking about retaining your seed and then uh, working on yourself, they, they it like trips them out, you know? They're, they don't understand it. They're like, oh, um, I don't know what their, their point of view on it, man, honestly. It's just they think that you always have to revolve your whole life around women or around uh, all these things, guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's funny, guys. It's really funny because um, that's how a lot of us kind of operated back then. You know, before I went on SR, that's kind of how I operated too. Where they, it's almost like they want men to have women on a pedestal and have them be like their whole life. You know, they want them to be thinking about how to get chicks, how to do this or do that for chicks but i'm telling you bro it's uh it's, a lot of it is a waste of time you know a lot of it is a waste of time and when somebody comes on on here and or sees videos like this self-development self-improvement sr retention it catches them off guard because they're not used to seeing this type of content right they're used to seeing content talking about oh how to manipulate women how to smash women like all this different like mind games you know all these mind games manipulation tactics talking about you need to have a a rotation to be a high value man i'm like all this bullshit bro that's not true you know you don't need to have a rotation of low grade chicks in order to have value for yourself all right so that's what it's about man it's not about you shouldn't have your worth revolving around you know how many chicks you could get or being popular or all this clout chasing you know what i'm saying this type of content is rare because it's the real stuff man it's it's actually speaking truth you know i'm not telling you guys to go i'm not trying to like lead you guys astray and telling you guys just tickling ears you know what i'm saying and telling you guys what you want to hear um i'll tell you what you want to hear but it's also the truth as well you know the most important thing you could do as a man is to retain because when you retain you focus that energy back on yourself you know you're not like i said man when it comes to things that pe people just won't understand you you know people just won't understand you because say like for example you know you go to an event or something and everybody is drinking and then somebody's like oh you're not gonna drink and you'd be like oh no i'm good they will look at you like you're the weird one because it's like, how can you not be drinking? And the same thing applies for other things. Like, 
oh, how could you not be into celebrities? Oh, how could you not be into uh, sports? Or how could you not be, you know, be interested in dating women and, you know, having dating apps and all this crap or partying or all this uh, things that a lot of people are into? You become very set apart, you know, you become very set apart and very different when you're literally going within and changing your life for the better, right? From an outside point of view, people won't understand you. Um, but you have to keep in mind that they, everybody is on a different path in their life. And not everybody's going to understand the type of path that you're on. You know, like, it seems like people get offended or they get mad when you don't want to participate in yeah, things like dating apps and just creating like a bunch of soul ties for yourself, you know, just sleeping around with no purpose or just wasting your seed for no purpose or just out here just being stupid, you know, they get offended when you don't want to do that. And it's just like, it's a trip, bro. Like I'm, it's like you're trying to do something better for yourself and then people get offended because of it. You know, they get offended because they don't understand you and people hate slash judge things that they don't understand so if they see if they see content like sr they're gonna be like man this is some like i don't know what kind of conclusions they'll come up with is like oh this is a some some weirdo shit or you know what i'm saying but not not even knowing bro like they don't even know man <laughs> they don't even know what this lifestyle could do for you you know, they think that you always need to be having a group of friends or that you always need to be out here just like sleeping around, bro. Like it's 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 all backwards. It really is. It's all backwards. Um, society wants you to focus your attention on things that have no value to you. They want you to be chasing chicks. They want you to be on social media all day. They want you to be out here partying, out here drunk. But I'm telling you guys, when you are have a different mindset, right? You have a different awareness now. You don't see anything the same. And a lot of people just won't understand you, you know? And you become, you're like in this world, but you're not of this world, okay? I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard of that quote before. I think, I think it's in the Bible, I'm not sure. But it says like, you're in this world, but you're not of it. What that means is that like, you're not really interested in all the things that people are interested in anymore. You know, you're doing things that are actually leveling you, leveling you up physically, mentally, and spiritually. And yeah, the majority of people that aren't on this journey, they just simply won't understand you, right? And some people just be offended. And it is, it is what it is, man. You know, you can't make someone, everybody has their own journey in life, right? So you can't make them understand you. And at the same time, you don't even seek the validation for it. Like, I don't need to prove myself to anybody. These videos are just simply to um, kind of shine light onto uh, things and just share like awareness and like testimonies and things like that. And I'm sure people that are on this journey as well, they could relate to everything that I talk about. But like I said, people that see SR content for the first time, they're going to be like... What is this retention shit, bro? Like, what the heck? Like, it's not going to make sense to them because they've been they, basically their whole lives revolve around women. And I'm not trying to revolve my whole life around women, around partying, around all these things that have no value to me. You know, this is crazy. This is a huge level up. Um, and yeah, you would just you would just offend people. And it's kind of funny because I bet you. You know, it's almost like society wants you to be miserable or something. You know, they want you to be miserable. That's why they push out all this, all this lust, all this uh, promiscuous stuff, all this degenerate stuff is because they want you to be miserable. They don't want you to know about yourself. They don't want you to spend time by yourself. They don't want you to, you know, have a deeper knowledge in life, in what you want out of life. They just want you out here just swiping left you know on dating apps just on social media just comparing yourself to other people just all this toxicity you know what i'm saying and, and ain't nobody got time for that nonsense you know people that are on this sr journey um it's a few and it's it's a few because you have the open mind for it right 
you see the changes, you see the benefits that it has brought to your life. You see the mental changes, the spiritual changes, the physical changes. And you don't need the approval of anybody for that, right? Nobody knows you like you know yourself. So it doesn't matter what people say. As long as you know that you are, you know, evolving, advancing in life, that you're working on yourself um, in the, in like behind the scenes, nobody really knows that, but they just judge on a surface level. Okay. They just judge on the surface level. And like I said, it is what it is, but you shouldn't let that bother you too much. Just know that whatever type of things that you are working on is for you. It's not for them. You know, it's not for them. So don't even worry about it, man. Just keep moving forward because I bet you that if I was operating how everybody else is operating out here, you know, just going back to drinking, going back. Well, I was never into that, but, you know, downloading dating apps and all this nonsense or just living very worldly and very degenerate. Uh, I would fit in with the crowd, right? But at the same time, I would just be super miserable because especially knowing what I know now, it's like almost impossible to go back to that. You know, uh, shout out to Subconscious, bro. He be... Uh, making this analogy where when you go on SR, it's almost like you put on these new pair of glasses and you could see the world for what it is, right? You, your your perspective on a lot of things change. And I don't know if you guys ever seen that movie, They Live or something like that. It's the guy with the glasses and he sees everything for what it is. And then everybody else is kind of asleep. That's how it is, bro. On your spiritual journey, on your SR journey, on your self-development journey, that you see everything differently. And people that aren't even on your level, they, they won't understand you, okay? They won't understand you, but nobody know. like I said, nobody knows you like you know yourself. So that's what, it's, that's what it, uh, matters at the end. It's just you, okay? It's just you because you don't want outside energies kind of throwing you off and telling you that, oh, this isn't right or you shouldn't do this, right? Nobody knows you like God knows you, man. So it's very important to not fall into the snare of listening to other people and seeing what's best for you because you have that intuition. You have that divine intuition in uh, having these downloads, right? Like God gives you these, these downloads and changes your life, bro, like from within. But like I said, uh, a lot of people just want to understand you and you be crazy or you just be um, very different, but who cares, bro? This is for you. My life has gone up ever since I've been retaining, and that's all I got to say, man. So um, I don't want to make the video too long. So with that being said, maintain your frame, retain gang. I'm out. Peace.